So to make this background, first thing, let's create a new composition and keep it for 30 seconds. Then make a new solid. And let's add plexus to the solid layer. So click on add geometry and choose primitives. For add effector, choose noise. And for add render, choose lines. Now for the plexus primitives object, let's open cube. Put in X points 4. C points 25. Cube width 1201. Cube height 983 and cube depth 450. So here you can basically choose any color you want, but you can copy this pink color here. And make here the opacity 40%. So now for the plexus noise effector, let's set a keyframe in noise amplitude. And make it 1389. Then go to the last frame and make it 1987. Next open noise details. Go to the first frame. Then set a keyframe in noise evolution. Go to the last frame and make it here one. So let's move on to plexus points render. Make point size value to 2.5. So here uncheck get color from vertices. And put the same color. Also uncheck get opacity and make it 40%. So let's jump to plexus lines render. Set the max here to 8. And make the maximum distance 111. The same thing here uncheck this button here and make the opacity 40%. Set the line thickness to 0.5. Check here this button. And change the depth of field to camera settings. So let's add a glow effect. Then let's create a new camera. And keep it for 35. Here open transform. So for the position. Put the X value to 910. Y value to 523. And Z value to 570.8. Then open camera options. Make the depth of field on. Change the focus distance to 1580. The aperture to 5. And the blur level to 10%. And this is the result. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you like it, and see you next time.